Welcome to the Faculty Lounge, where we explore emerging and innovative insights for the K-12 classroom, all in five minutes or less. I'm Andrew Potter, the Vice President for Education at Envision, one of the nation's leading educational institutions dedicated to the college and career success of every student. As school years begin to wind down, and as some teachers, perhaps you head for the beach, we want to provide some insight into recommended summer beach reads. First of all, let's start with the thought-provoking classic. If you want to start a fight at an upcoming faculty meeting, take Jacques Barzun's copy of Teacher in America to this meeting. Written in the 1940s, this challenging, though very insightful work remains arguably one of the most important books written on teaching and learning in the United States in the last century. It is charged with lots of ideas, lots of evaluations about the American education system, but it's extremely smart, it's extremely witty. Uh, as a former teacher, this was a book that I constantly reread each year before the start, start of school to simply inspire me about the importance of the job that I performed. And this is really the great takeaway. You might find much in Barzoon that you either agree or disagree with, but it will challenge your thinking about the importance of teaching, the importance of learning, and what it is, quite frankly, that we're doing in the classroom. I'll go from the depth book to a book that certainly is deep as well, but is a very lively, entertaining. This is The Page Turner. Uh, a 2013 New York Times bestseller, The Smartest Kids in the World by Amanda, Amanda Ripley. What's great about this book is you can read it very quickly. It's, it's, it's a book that sucks you in. You, you essentially follow the stories of three American high school students studying abroad for a year. Ripley is famous for simply just letting the story tell itself. Though she does provide two appendixes in this book where she provides some thoughts around what it is that she saw while she was following these students abroad for a year of study. Behind the stories, there's lots of thought-provoking ideas about what's going on in both American education and in education around the world. Thirdly, the Poolside Envy book. We know when we go to the pool or when we go to the beach, everyone pulls out their typically romance fiction novel, but there's always that one person who's reading War and Peace. And even though we all kind of look down on that person, secretly we all wish that they were them. Well, if you want to be that person, if you want to make people jealous of your smarts, this is the book to take to the pool this summer, Transformative Assessment in Action. This is arguably one of the best practical books that I've read on formative assessment. In fact, the last six chapters of this book are very focused practical case studies of how formative assessment is being applied in individual classrooms, replete with teacher interviews, reflections on what was working and not working, and lists of insights that you can take from that case study to apply to your classroom. Your travel book for this summer, To Go Global, is one of the, in my opinion, the top 10 books written about education in the last two years. Uh, by Vivian Stewart, A World-Class Education. This gives you in a really short format, I believe the book is only about 175 pages long, a high-level insight to what's going on in terms of international education trends. Everything from standards to assessment to instructional design is covered in some sense from this book. The book really focuses in on, on what's changing and looks at the skills movement and specifically looks at what do students need to know about the world so that they can compete and cooperate on a global stage. If you're looking for something uber practical, I would recommend uh, the recent book out by Larry Ferlazzo, Self-Driven Learning. This book focuses on conceptually on the notion of how can teachers drive intrinsic motivation students. But what's very useful uh, with this book is there are literally scores of creative instructional resources, dozens of sample lesson plans, and for those of you in Common Core States, already aligned to ELA Common Core State standards. There's also, uh, the book is replete with ed tech resources uh, that gives you additional ways uh, to links online or apps, whatever it might be, that you can actually build in. This is one of those books where you don't need to read the whole book. It can be literally 10 pages or one chapter or one case study or one let lesson plan that you could look at to bring in and into your classroom. So if you're looking for ways to motivate those students in your classroom, this is a great practical resource and read for the summer. Lastly, I want to mention the professional development must read. 
Uh, I'm a huge fan of David Connolly, uh, and this is his most recent book. It came out this year. In my opinion, arguably one of the top two books on education in 2014. Uh, it reflects on decades of research uh, and looks at the macro issues, college readiness, career readiness, and common core state standards that are facing the education space today. What's great about this book is it is teacher-centric. It is a book that is written for teachers, uh, and it ultimately explores the question of what can be. What can teachers do with these three macro issues in terms of what's going on in American education as we think about the next five to 10 years? I hope this helps you prepare to hit the beach this summer, but thank you again for spending time with us today in the faculty lounge. Please join us in our quest to ensure that every student is college and career ready. You can find additional resources and more information at www.envisionexperience.com backslash for educators. Thank you.